The day the hashtag free Fortnite lawsuit just got a lot worse and I'm going to be explaining what this now means. As always, sit back, relax and enjoy. I keep you guys up to date every single day with what's going on inside of Fortnite, all the news, leaks and everything you need to know. So tap that subscribe button with that notification bell on. Feel free to follow me on twitch.tv slash mills and leave a like on the video. All right, so to catch everybody up to speed, if you don't know what happened on August 13th, Fortnite updated their payment system to bring in a brand new way called Epic Direct Payment. This basically avoids the taxes that Apple place on companies who publish their games and obviously have microtransactions and things like that inside of it. This then led to Apple removing Fortnite from the App Store a few hours later, but the thing is, Epic knew this would happen. Epic had been planning this for so long. Just a couple of hours after Apple removed them from the App Store, Fortnite uploaded this trailer. Take a look. If you don't know, this is a short movie which basically mocks Apple. This is a complete comedic ripoff of obviously the original Apple Macintosh advert all the way back in 1985, except Epic remade this and added a completely separate message right at the end. Basically trying to encourage the viewers to use the hashtag free Fortnite to put more pressure on Apple. And that's exactly what is needed. Epic then filed a lawsuit against Apple as the whole point of this is to make sure Apple destroy this monopoly system. Taking that 30% tax off all these companies that publish on the App Store, Epic are trying to stand up for thousands and thousands of companies out there to make sure it's gone. Epic Games aren't trying to get monetary compensation. They're trying to make sure this whole monopoly system is destroyed destroyed and completely dismantled. Epic are taking a massive, massive risk here for thousands of companies. Shortly after, Google removed Fortnite from the Play Store as this also voided their terms of service. And I now believe Epic have now filed another lawsuit towards Google. However, the thing with Android is that you can actually still play Fortnite via the Samsung Store. But on the Play Store, obviously Google's Play Store, you can't indeed download it just like iOS. But what does this mean for us? If you play on iOS, as long as you have had the game downloaded at some point you can still re-download it you can still uninstall it but if you're a new player trying to search for the game it is not available and you cannot get it which is why it's such a big deal there'll also be no future updates until this whole lawsuit is resolved and obviously epic vs apple come to some sort of decision so as of right now if you play on ios you are stuck on this current update which is quite confusing i'm going to talk more about that at the end on what that possibly means it's the exact same with google however with android devices there's more variation you can still download fortnite via the Samsung store as I say but anything regarding Play Store is exactly the same as iOS you're stuck on this same update but that's okay because you can uninstall and download on obviously the Samsung store fingers crossed Samsung don't get involved in this however since then things have been pretty quiet since this whole lawsuit begun to the public however today just an hour ago the official Epic Games newsroom Twitter posted this and well Things just got 10 times worse. As you can see, Apple removed Fortnite from the App Store and has now informed Epic that on Friday, August 28th, Apple will terminate all of our developer accounts and will cut Epic off from iOS and Mac development tools. We are asking the court to stop this retaliation, which basically means they've signed a brand new lawsuit. Oh my days. Now the problem with this is that Epic says that included in the tools that Apple have obviously removed is Unreal Engine, which thousands of third-party developers are using, aka thousands of other companies as you guys know. That new Fall Guy game I do believe is built on Unreal Engine as well. There's thousands and possibly even close to tens of thousands of companies out there using Unreal Engine. Epic said Apple's actions will irreparably damage Epic's reputation among Fortnite users and will be catastrophic for the future of the separate Unreal Engine business, which is correct. So for thousands of companies out there producing, for example, mobile games in particular, it's going to be catastrophic because it's going to be the same situation Fortnite are in. No future update, causing all of these companies to have to make a decision. Likely having to switch engines, completely changing the way their games work, or perhaps being stuck with this current version of Unreal Engine because it's no longer Fortnite versus Apple. It's now thousands of companies versus Apple, which is quite frightening if you think about. They continue by saying if Epic can no longer develop future updates for the Unreal Engine that support iOS and macOS, developers will not choose to use Unreal Engine to develop develop any games or other products for Apple devices, which is frightening to think about. Something interesting that Epic also mentioned is that as of June 2020, 350 million registered users are playing Fortnite. And despite many people saying Fortnite's dying, it's still one of the strongest conquering games out there right now. 
Now, regarding season four of Fortnite, what does this mean? Because I put this tweet out before saying how interesting this is going to be. The new season of Fortnite is due to launch in 10 days. And as of right now, there does not seem to be any signs of a delay either. As we know, Epic have been planning this lawsuit for absolutely ages. So hopefully they've got a good plan for season four. But the thing is, hundreds of thousands of players are not even going to be able to play season four, especially iOS. Android players, as I say, can still download the game via the Samsung store, but it's still going to make things a little bit tricky but when it comes to ios the users are literally going to be stuck in season three and that makes me think are fortnite just going to completely have two seasons running or you know what are they going to do for ios users who can still play fortnite just can't receive the new updates and it's going to be worrying because obviously that's a despite people thinking mobile isn't a big uh, scene for fortnite it really is there's thousands of people out there especially older people even younger children playing on there obviously not everybody owns a ps4 or a uh, or of course a computer the thing with mobile is the controls on there are so much easier to use so the fact no updates are going to be pushed on ios is quite frightening and as i say unreal engine is definitely going to be affected by this brand new lawsuit that's been implemented today and it's not just Fortnite. Some of the big games to mention are things like Final Fantasy, Fears of War 5, Borderlands 3, Hellblade, Fortnite, Star Wars, Player Unknown's Battleground Guys, and Sea of Thieves, and many, many more. So you've now got to think, are these companies now going to get on Epic's side just like Facebook have and many other large companies like Spotify? But things are getting quite crazy and really nobody knows what's going to happen. What do you guys think is going to happen on Season 4's release? Feel free to let me know down below, guys. But that's everything I wanted to talk with you guys about today. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts down below on this whole situation. Things, as I say, are getting quite crazy and I'm very curious to see what you guys think down below. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Use code MILL in the Fortnite item shop. Come on over at twitch.tv slash mills. We'll be live tonight for the viewers react to the item shop and then again 3pm UK tomorrow. But thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.